Dr. Hallie Tanner Dillon Johnson was an African-American physician who became the first woman certified to practice medicine in Alabama. Dillon was also one of the earliest, if not the first, campus-based doctors in the state, serving for three years as resident physician at Tuskegee Institute. Hallie married Charles Dillon of Trenton, New Jersey in June of 1886. Daughter Sadie was born the following year, but Charles died soon after. At the age of 24, Dillon entered the Women's Medical College of Pennsylvania. She was the only African American in her class of 36 and graduated with honors in May of 1891. Through the college dean, Dillon connected with Booker T. Washington, president of Tuskegee Institute in Tuskegee, Alabama. He had written a letter to the dean regarding his need for a physician at the school. Dillon wrote Washington about the position and he responded with a description and went to Philadelphia that spring to meet with her and her father. Dillon accepted the position and moved to Tuskegee that August. She began working September the 1st of 1891. Washington knew how difficult the exam would be for her, so he arranged for her to study with Montgomery physician Cornelius Nathaniel Dorset, who was the first black African-American -Amer African physician in the state of Alabama. Dr. Dorsett was his classmate at Hampton Institute and an 1882 graduate of the University of Buffalo Med Medical School. Washington had persuaded Dorsett to come to the South and set up a practice as the first licensed African-American physician in Montgomery, Alabama, and the first one in the state. After her period of studying with Dr. Dorsett, Dillon sat for the medical license examination. The test began in Montgomery on August 17, 1891 and concluded on August the 25th. During those days, she examined on 10 subjects by 10 different examiners. Dillon passed the examination. She served at Tuskegee from September the 1st, 1891 until sometime in 1894. She was paid $600 a year for her position, plus room and board and a monthly vacation. During her time there, she cared for 450 students, as well as 30 faculty and their families. She also had private patients who were charged 25 cents for medicines and 10 cents for house, co house calls. She founded the Lafayette Dispensary and Nurses Training School on campus. In 1894, Dillon married John Quincy Johnson, her third husband, who was a minister and mathematician at Tuskegee. In the 1900s, he became the pastor of St. Paul AME Church in Nashville, Tennessee, and the family moved there. Dylan died April the 26, 1901 of dysentery and childbirth complications at the age of 37. Dylan's handwritten medical certification exam is still available along with many other individuals from this 19th century period at the Alabama Department of Archives and History in Montgomery, Alabama.